Hope you kept those umbrellas handy because the rain and Sierra snow will be back later this week and with it, a blizzard warning. And new clues on the identity of the Zodiac Killer. Bay Area cold cases are back on the spotlight thanks to a new documentary. Hi, I'm Diana San Juan. Let's get you synced in. If you're planning to travel to the snow this week, you're going to want to listen to this. The Sierra Nevada is expecting a significant amount of snowfall later this week and into the weekend. A blizzard warning will be in effect from 4 a.m. Thursday through 10 a.m. Sunday, with anywhere from 5 to 10 feet of snow. Now, these numbers may get super dangerous to travel. The Weather Service said in a statement that the snowfall will bring, quote, impossible travel conditions with extended road closures. So what does this mean for us here in the Bay Area? We got clear skies on Wednesday, but rain is coming back Thursday and is expected to hang out until Saturday. Stay up to date with the conditions in your area by visiting NBCBayArea.com slash weather. And also don't forget to download our free NBC Bay Area app to get alerts straight to your phone. There are several unsolved mysteries and cold cases here in the Bay Area, but there's one in particular that stands out more than others. I'm talking about the Zodiac Killer, a serial killer tied to at least five crimes in the late 60s. And there's also the Santa Rosa hitchhike murders from the early 70s. Both of these notorious cold cases are back on the spotlight in a brand new docu-series on HBO's Max. Sarah Barter spent nearly two years looking into the possibility of her own step-grandfather, Jim Mordecai, who faced several rape accusations, including from family members, being the Zodiac Killer. The entire investigation is now playing in the truth about Jim. Just the overwhelming amount of people that um, he affected, that was always just really shocking to me because you kind of think your family story is sort of nuclear into your family and you hope that it doesn't spread. But learning that it had spread out into the greater community and to other women, I mean, that was really, really shocking and frankly upsetting and hard to, to deal with. After looking into Mordecai's past, Barter also believes he could be tied to the Santa Rosa hitchhike murders, where seven women and girls were killed in a span of a few years. And on a lighter note, inside a San Francisco elementary school gym, there's a shelter dedicated to housing San Francisco Unified families who don't have anywhere else to go. The shelter is set up every day at 7 p.m. and taken apart by 7 a.m. on the very next day. So it's a process that could be tedious, but it's made easier thanks to a group of architecture students from the Academy of Art University who designed a special folding bed that could easily be wheeled in and wheeled out. Here's a clip from Garvin Thomas's story that makes us Bay Area proud. The first thing we, uh, we saw that they need was that they were sleeping on the floor and you just hold it down like this. So that's why Loe Gali and his classmates have spent the past year designing a bed tailored to the shelter residents' needs. And it just goes like this. Collapsible, portable, comfortable, with space for personal belongings and able to be set up and put away in a matter of seconds. The students hope to be able to build other stuff for families like reading nooks and extra storage space by the end of this school year. That is amazing. For more of this story, go to NBCBayArea.com slash Bay Area Proud. All right, guys, that is it for us today. Thanks for watching.